Welcome back. We're counting down the days now to the 2018 edition of the Warrior Games on the campus of the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. This is an amazing display of athletic competition from an amazing group of Paralympic-style athletes. And tonight, the first of my one-on-one -on -one interviews with some of those Warriors, how life dealt them a difficult blow, but how the games have changed their lives. Air Force Master Sergeant Ben Siegel is an instructor at the Security Forces Academy at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. 13 years of service, three deployments to Afghanistan. An amputee below the knee said he could either sit, do nothing, and live with his injury, or he could get up. Competing now in powerlifting, cycling, track and field, sitting volleyball, and wheelchair basketball. Setting the example, not just for yourself, the people around you, and anybody watching, the, the, the power of what we do and the capability that we can bring still and continue to crash through those barriers on a daily basis. Um, that, that's the power of the games. But Sergeant Siegel wasn't always this gung-ho about life or anything else for that matter. After his squad in Afghanistan in 2011, working explosive clearance with his bomb-sniffing dog took a fateful step. Got about a kilometer into the mission and our patrol was struck by uh, two improvised explosive devices, one wounding. Uh, myself and the other one wounding another airman on our patrol. His combat experience left him alone, depressed. And while trying to recover in rehab, a very strange thing happened. A man, he says, real or imagined, he's still not quite sure, told him he was going to be fine, that he had seen worse, and then he just disappeared. And I got to believe that at that point, you may have said to yourself, wow, as bad a shape that I'm in, there are other people that are in worse shape, and I can do something about this. I saw people that had injuries far more worse than mine, and they were smiling, they were working out, and they were pushing hard, and then I kind of took that and, and, and followed their example and used that to, uh, to give me strength and, uh, and to give me motivation. The Warrior Games have helped him turn a corner. Two workouts a day, six days a week, preparing himself mentally and physically, not just for the games, but for life. And it transcends not just the, uh, the adaptive sports that we do as athletes. It, it, it filters into pretty much every other aspect of your life. You apply yourself, um, put that motivation, give everything you've got uh, in one aspect. It just can't help but, uh, but filter into those other aspects of your life. And he is paying it forward as a leader, encouraging other airmen to do the same. As he likes to say, get up, take life by the horns, and take action.